Hi folks, uh, I'm going to talk to you for a minute here about our mask fitters that we are making. So the mask fitter is something that was designed by a company called Bellis 3D and we are taking their design and using our 3D printing and scanning technology to make this donate these to uh, the public in our community. The purpose of the mask fitter is to create a comfortable way to better seal a mask. Um, the weak part of any mask that's not custom fitted or any face covering that's not custom fitted is the gapping that occurs on the edges and on the side. Especially with some of the ear savers that you're seeing that are holding the mask uh, out a little further, you can have some gapping. Whether you're trying to seal the mask to prevent anything from coming out of the mask uh, to help flatten the curve and reduce spread of this, or if you're a healthcare worker or an elder care worker or somebody on the front lines that is trying to prevent any um, contagion from getting in, the mask sealer can help with that. Uh, it is not an N95 properly fitted mask, which is the gold standard here, but we understand that many in the community do not have uh, N95 masks available to them. Uh, even healthcare workers on the front line may not have this equipment. And we also understand that a lot of uh, folks that are getting N95 masks don't have proper fitting. Um, so the mask fitter can help with that. We have done no research on this. There's no research on this that we're aware of. We give no guarantees. We understand that it's not a perfect solution, but we do believe it's the ne next best thing to a properly fitted N95 or better mask. Um, so a couple things. First of all, um, whenever you take this off or whenever you put it on, we're recommending that you disinfect it with um, either spray or some sort of wipes to totally uh, clean this and thoroughly disinfect it. Um, again, anytime you take it off or put it on. Um, the, the way we make these mask fitters is that we're actually using a 3D technology uh, that can scan a 3D version of somebody's face. We can export that and digitally create the mask fitter on our uh, dental lab technology at Verber Dental Lab. And then we use our 3D printers to be able to print those out. So the mask fitter is held to the face and secured over the mask with uh, a rubber band chain harness that we've created. The rubber band chain hooks to the mask by passing it through these, these small hooks on this, each side of the mask. And the rubber band chain is, of course, created from a series of rubber bands. We will provide some rubber bands for you in your bag with your mask. The larger colored rubber bands are the ones that go on the side that will hook to the mask. We will then give you some rubber bands of this type to help create the chain. The number of rubber bands that you're going to use, of course, is going to be dependent upon the size of your head. Quite simply, you create the rubber band chain by overlaying two rubber bands and pulling the end of one through. Do the same thing on the opposite side. And you have your rubber band chain harness. Again, if your head is larger, you may need to use more than one rubber band. If these rubber bands were to break or uh, wear out, you can use any type of rubber band that you have at home in any combination or number that fits your your uh, your head.